Ian, let's talk about this huge IT outage because this is a big deal. It's having effects here in the UK. There's chaos at airports. I think Ryanair are having to tell passengers to arrive three hours early because all sorts of problems with their check-in systems because some of their computers have gone wrong. Um, and uh, the NHS apparently is being affected. So who knows if that's going to lead to a swathe of missed appointments adding to waiting lists. But in America, wow, mm. they're in trouble. 911 not working. Airports all over the country have grounded airlines. I mean, it's, it's big. It's a worry, though, isn't it, that we are so vulnerable now as a globe to effectively this is one company, this is CrowdStrike, the cybersecurity company, uh, who have pushed an update a little prematurely, it seems. Um, I wouldn't I would, would, I would want to be a fly on the wall this morning, wouldn't you, in uh, those, uh, those meetings trying to work out who actually pushed that update because uh, I should think they're for the chop. Um, but it does bring it home, the vulnerability of, you know, everything that we rely on, whether it's transport, communications, TV, uh, and so on, that just one issue, one episode, can literally mm. bring the globe to its knees. Very concerning. And of course, this isn't the first time. You know, we had, in fact, literally in the last two or three days, we've had the banking chap system that has also failed. Right. So lots and lots of money transfers, including people trying to complete on the purchase of their air homes. Air traffic control. Uh, do you remember that when Air yeah. traffic control in the UK was sort of blighted by some bug in the system? Yeah, but it's normally and banks, saying isn't it? These, yeah, it is lots and banks. lots of banks, um, and, and th th I think there should be a concern here that we are that vulnerable on the basis of one pivotal company making an error or there being right. some kind of issue. There needs to be a sort of backup system, doesn't there? So if your sort of a first generation route for software and digital engagement goes wrong, there's something you can go yeah. to as a, as a resort. Because when it comes to emergency services, when it comes to traffic, travel, hospital appointments, it, like you said, it shows the vulnerability. But also we know that there are armies of experts, in uh, malign experts in other countries who are trying to get into systems all the time. Mm. are trying to get into things like the energy grid, nuclear power stations, trying to meddle with computers, uh, especially, I, I think, Kremlin. They, they love doing this in yes. Russia. It's one well, of their and, first and sort of uh, lines of grey zone warfare. And there'll be lots of conspiracy theories this morning saying, well, this must be the Chinese or it must be the Russians. Of course, it, yeah, it doesn't appear that that is the case. Uh, it is indeed this issue with regard to CrowdStrike. And look, I, I'm all for private-public partnerships, the private sector uh, being more efficient than the public sector, frankly, being involved in such things mm. and, and, and then therefore kind of supporting public sector in this instance by way of information technology um, but yes I do think there needs to be a safeguard uh, whereby there has to be a kind of a, a vulnerability plan a contingency right. because clearly when it goes wrong as we're seeing today as we see on a more repeated basis uh, we're left wanting we're left vulnerable. It was some sort of strange apocalyptic vision on the Jubilee line this morning that the tube was running as normal but when I got to the station none of the screens are working and there was none of the announcing none of the public announcing about the next trains coming the next trains coming which happens every minute on the underground and people just standing on the platform thinking, what's going on? Is, is this line still operating? They get into talk towers, come up in the lift. Normally those lift doors open to these, you know, wall-to-wall -wall screen. screens yes. and every, all the wonderful things that get outputted from the 17th floor. And there was nothing on the screen. Well, the like, I didn't know where a, I was. I thought the caretaker's flashing. covered. Yeah, with the cursor flashing. Yes, yeah. it's a bit unnerving, isn't it? So, um, it is. so I think there, there need to be lessons learned. Uh, this isn't the first time, though, as I say, and it certainly won't be the last time.